fall decor for only three bucks. Stay tuned, guys. Hello, guys. How y'all feeling? I love y'all. You love as much as ever. Baby, kiss me. Baby, kiss me. Before they turn the lights on. Friends, let's jump right into this easy DIY. First, you will need three of those dollar pumpkins that you can get at Walmart. I know they have the jack o' lantern face on the front, but no worries. That part will be towards the back, and you will only see the smooth side. So, use whatever paint color that you have at home. Um, we have this silver paint spray paint already. And so the only out-of-pocket cost so far is $3 because I purchased three of these pumpkins. You will need to remove the handles, the little black handles, and I did that with just a pair of scissors. What is making this DIY so affordable is that you can just use the things that you already have around the house. And now this pumpkin is going to, this pumpkin DIY is going to go outside on my front porch. And I just finished a video with a uh, DIY house number plaque. And so excuse the mess. But we already had things out and available for this DIY. So we're just going to use the hot glue gun that I already had out for my last DIY. And we're going to use it to attach the three pumpkins. You can um, also use E6000 glue, um, Gorilla Glue, whatever you have, even just regular super glue. And again, just make sure that the jack-o'-lantern faces are facing um, towards the back. And just press down on it for a little bit. until the pumpkins kind of sit down inside of each other. Repeat the same steps until you have stacked all three pumpkins on top of each other. And give them um, a few minutes to dry. It didn't take mine as long to dry at all and I actually just started to proceed to the next step. But depending on what type of glue that you're using, um, do allow the appropriate time to dry. And it's totally up to you what the next step could be. You can actually leave the three pumpkins stacked as is and just display them as a centerpiece or as I will be doing outside on my porch where you can put trick-or-treat candy in them or a candle, but I decided to um, use a topiary ball on the inside of mine, and I had two sizes to choose from, and of course, being me, I went with the largest size, but you can also just um, put some Dollar Tree flowers in. Um, if you have a potted plant already inside your home, stick it on the top of that, there are just so many options that you can um, do with this DIY, and it's just that's what makes it so affordable. I mean, stack three pumpkins and you're done, or you can take it up a notch and um, put a temporary ball on top, like so, or put flowers on the inside. And then once I put the temporary ball on the top, I decided to actually pot the whole temporary um, pumpkin. And I already had these faux vines. Um, and I don't know what type of vines they are, but I already had these faux vines around the house. And they look so real um, that I decided to use that at the base inside the pot and um, just leave the temporary ball at the very top. And I think this will be a great look for fall. And then 
I also had these gold leaves that I added to the faux vines. And then I think it just really completed the look and it turned out great. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you're able to use these tips. Like, comment, subscribe. You know I love you guys.